Lake Health Systems proudly presents an NK Delco sports production of high school varsity football action. We are here at Alexander Stadium in Pickwell where the Graham Falcons take on the Layman Catholic Cavaliers. Tonight's game is sponsored by American Trim, First National Bank, Keyhole Pizza, Winner's Meats, NK Telco, Frost Roofing, Hometown Opportunity, Minster Bank, Ply Gem, Precision Strip, Schwederman's Pharmacy, New Knoxville Supply, Fowler's TV, Wilson Health, Cy Schwederman, Carriage Works, Kogi Plumbing, Heating and Air Conditioning, Wayne Trail, Cargill, Wagner's IGA, SecureCom, St. Henry Bank, The Spot, and St. Mary's Foundry bringing you tonight's game between Graham and Layman. I'm Dave Helmstetter and alongside me, Matt Everidge to bring you the play-by-play -play and color commentary for tonight's non-league matchup between Graham and Layman. When you take a look at the Layman Cavaliers, had an outstanding quarterback a year ago and Elliot Gillardi, Southwest District Player of the Year in Division 7. This year they have a newcomer at quarterback in Bertini. Yeah, Bertini, he's one, he's the new guy on the block looking to get some offense going for this team. They scored 17 in their last matchup. First game they was blanked by Fort Recovery, 35-0, but Fort Recovery just a well-known team to make the playoffs normally every year. But Sydney does find themselves in the usual position. First three games, if they can go two and one, one and two, they normally finish, well, the last two years have been eight and four and then 10 and two, so this is a norm for Sydney. And the Cavaliers are gonna shift a little bit more to the run game than the pass under Gillardi. Now on the other side of the, the field with the Graham Falcons, they have a nice young quarterback by the name of Brady, Brady King. Yeah, Brady King's having a good season so far. Just on his stats, he's 23 for 50 for 334 yards, completing 46% of his passes. So look for them to come out and try to establish the pass and open it up against this Sydney team. On their side as well, they're coming in one and one with a win against Southern uh, local 41-31 last week. Cavaliers 0-2 on the season, Graham 1-1 one one on the season. We'll have the opening kickoff and more right after this. At Joint Township District Memorial Hospital, your comfort and care is our number one priority. Our surgical nerve blocks are a great way to reduce pain and can be used for arm, shoulder, hip, knee, ankle, and foot surgeries. The nerve blocks decrease the stress of surgery on your body, requires less anesthesia and pain medications, and in many cases can offer relief for several days. Visit GrandLakeHealth.org for details on all of our services. American Trim's story started in 1951, and our long family legacy continues today. We are a third-generation family-owned business with locations in Sydney and Walpaw, and we're hiring for manufacturing positions on first, second, and third shifts. Part-time and full-time positions are available for entry-level and skilled individuals. Please apply at www.amtrim.com or in person. American Trim is a proud sponsor of high school sports and our communities. Come be part of our story. Back here at Alexander Stadium at Piqua, Lehman and Graham about to do battle in game number three of the 2019 season. Let's take a look at our keys to the game tonight, brought to you as usual by Keyhole Pizza. First for the Graham Falcons. For the Falcons, Graham executed a high level. They need to start high and continue high all night long. They need to limit the big plays on offense for Sydney, and they need a high tempo for the game. On the flip side for Sidney Lehman. Lehman Catholic needs to control the clock on the running game. If they can make their drives last more than five minutes, that's kind of ideal for them at this point in the season. They need to eliminate their mistakes. No fumbles, no interceptions, and they need to have good line play, and that's on the offense and defensive side of the ball. 
only 22 players. You got to take advantage of where your strengths are at. And our keys to the game tonight here on NK Telco Sports, brought to you by Keyhole Pizza. And opening kickoff here on a warm September evening. And the kick is away by the Falcons as Ryan Turner will boot it deep to the Cavaliers. Here comes the return up to near the 30 and the Lehman Cavaliers will start at about the 31 yard line. So it's first and 10 Lehman. Of course, they're dressed in the gold and blue. And as Matt said, they have 22 or so players on the squad and coming off an eight and four season a year ago. But having lost their first two games this season and it'll be interesting to see it's our first look at Lehman Catholic and last year of course they mixed it up pretty good using the spread offense with Elliot Gillardi. RJ Bertini number three will be at quarterback and he'll still be out of the shotgun. Solomon will be in the backfield or rather Barhorse is in the backfield and Drew Barhorse will get the carry and he'll pick up a couple of yards. And one thing the Cavaliers will do is run the football this year. And with Gillardi, they had a had a kind of a dual threat there of throwing and running as well as as he had over well over a thousand yards, somewhere in the neighborhood of uh, 1,400 yards passing and uh, almost 900 yards rushing. So second down and eight for Lehman. Bertini's first pass of the game is incomplete, but we've got a penalty marker on the play. Pass was intended uh, for Landon McIver. It looks like a hold on the front line. So the first penalty of tonight's game goes against the Cavaliers. This isn't ideal for them. This is going to put them at a second down and forever for as far as layman's considered 18 yards. They'll mark it off from about the 31 yard line and it's going to put them back to the 21. So that'll make it. Looks like they gave him a 12 down. yard penalty there. Should be second down in about 20. Well, let's see what it is. 18. Looks like 18. They'll go to the left side. Pushing forward. RJ Bertini, on the Bertini with the carry and he'll get the ball to about the 26 yard line. Let's give him five yards on that. Yeah, they took him back to the 21. They was originally at the 33 because it's first down. They got two yards. So they marked off a 12 yard penalty there. That'll make it third down and we'll look at the sticks and call it third down and 15. Bertini in the shotgun. He'll take the snap, fakes the bar horse going downfield, and it's caught there by Kanapke. Gabe Kanapke, 6'1 senior, makes the catch for the Cavaliers, and they'll have a first down. Let's take another look at that one on the winner's meets replay. There you see Bertini with a nice fake in the pocket. Right out to the flat. Nice catch for 16. Good catch, and it's a first down for the Cavaliers. 10 minutes and 36 seconds to go here in the opening quarter play on the first National Bank Think First scoreboard. Cavaliers on the move here in their opening series. Short pass out to McIver. McIver trying to go around the end. He'll get into Graham territory at the 49. Starting out nice for the starting quarterback. One or two for three so far for a total of 23 yards passing. That coach roll before the season, you know, indicated that they'd go more to to the ground game. But so far here in the early going against the Falcons, they've thrown the ball three times and overcame a holding penalty as well. Bertini, Barhorse, he'll have the first down. Quick gain of eight, biggest run of the night for him. Take a look at uh, the run there by Andrew Barhorst. See him pull, he came right outside the right tackle or left nice tackle. Execution. Nice execution by the Cavaliers and they're into Graham territory at the 41. It trips over to the right. It's gonna be Barhorst again. He'll pick up two yards. I'm gonna give him four. Gavin 
Counter looks like it's open for them at this point. So it's second down for the Cavaliers. What do you think, Matt? About seven yards there? Uh, Short seven, long seven? Long seven. Long seven, maybe. In the shotgun again, Bertini and the Falcons dressed in black and white are gonna jump on the snap count. Nice way to pick up an easy five yards for the team. Penalty this time will go against Graham and that'll put Lehman Catholic in a second down in short situation as Noah Young, number 89, comes into the huddle. This could be a free play for Lehman. They might wanna go deep. You got a free shot, still have a third down to get the last two. This is Barhorst. It'll be short of the first down. Brought down by number 54, Nolan Neves. Take a look at that again. You can see Neves, number 54, coming in for the stop. Good defensive play there and help from his teammates as well. So it's going to be third down and We'll call it two yards for the first down. Graham Bertini. doing a good job of gang tackling. Once again, Bertini will go down. He wanted to throw it. And number 71 in on the stop that time, Nick Baker with the sack. So <coughs> Baker gets the sack and Cavaliers are gonna lose a couple yards. Let's call it fourth down and four football. As you can see, sitting at the 35 yard line. Big fourth down play as the Cavaliers have had a nice drive, overcome a penalty, a holding penalty early in the drive. Low snap, Bertini, he'll go left side, he'll pitch it to Barhorse. Barhorse will have the first down and more, but he loses the football. Let's see who comes up with it, Maya. With Graham is saying they've got the football right at the 20 yard line. And it is, it's gonna be the Graham Falcons football. Barhorse saw the end zone. I mean, if he hung onto the ball, he had open territory. Let's take a look at that one again. He comes around on the option, quarterback does the pitch. Eyes got wide right about the 20 and stripped away, picked up. Turnover, Graham with the ball. One player got his hand in there and that created the fumble as Barhorse was, looked like possibly defensive back number two, Gavin Adams may have stripped the ball from Barhorse grasp and that's a turnover. And now it's Graham's football, first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. Number 15 is Brady King, and he'll be the quarterback. He'll be the only one in the backfield as they've got three receivers left, two to the short side. Good thing for Sydney, though, they are averaging uh, nice averages on the runs and their passes at this point in the game. So Graham's first attempt with the ball. King, he'll go straight up the middle. Headed for the first down across the 30. He has it and more. He'll step out of bounds at the 40 yard line. So that's just an even 20 yards as King, who has rushed for 174 yards in their first two games, picks up 20 on his first rush of tonight's game here in the opening quarter. Take a look at King here. Nice running. This came up the middle of the linebacker that's supposed to be shadowing him, went down towards his feet, just couldn't make the tackle. King looks to the sideline. Coach Shane Cahill giving him direction. Playing the spread offense. He's gonna take it upfield again and he's gonna get to the 45. And I have a feeling this is the offense. King on a carry. They spread him out. King goes up the middle. So until you stop Brady King, we're gonna see a lot of we're gonna call his number an awful lot tonight, Matt. Yeah, Hunter Collier's gonna to have to shadow and get that tackle. Or I'm sorry, uh, RJ Bertini. Let's call it second down and five, seven minutes to go, opening quarter of football. In motion is Hunter Collier to the right side, going to the left side. For about uh, 
a gain to near the 48. We'll see where they mark it as number 30 that time. Zach Van Scoy. Van Scoy, they're going to mark it at the uh, Graham 49. There you see Van Scoy. And John Edwards took a real nice route to that to help stop that before they could get across for the first. Third and one. Van Scoy is going to be in the backfield this time with King. So three receivers to the right side or the wide side. Ryan Turner to the short side. He's number six. Falcons need a yard. King rolls right. He's going to throw it. Passes on target. It's completed to Hunter Collier. And Graham has picked up the first down as that pass right on the number. As you can see on our replay here, you see King roll. Nice coverage, but just not tight enough for the one yard play. And Graham's on the move into Lehman territory. It's first and 10, football to 43. King being patient. Clock approaching 10 seconds. Here in the opening quarter, football King going downfield. He's hit. Pass almost intercepted. First time pressure in there for Sydney or for Lehman Catholic. Good pressure by the Cavaliers and Noah Young, number 89, almost came up with that interception as King was hit as he threw the football. Would have been a nice opportunity to even up the turnovers, but the ball unfortunately did hit the ground. Adams will go to the right side. Hunter Collier will go wide to the left side. Collier's going to get the football in the short pass, but he'll call into the forward pass, so no completion off the drop. So that'll make it third down and 10. This would be a good time for Sydney to send John Edwards right up the middle. See what Graham comes up with here for a third and 10. Out of the shotgun, King, he's gonna roll to the left side. Pass is complete and number three, Hunter Collier with the reception. Junior wide receiver makes the catch and the Falcons have the first down. Football will rest at the Lehman 31. Adams to the short side, three receivers to the right, Van Scoy in the backfield. I'd rather make that number 13, Jason Howard. Howard's had 11 carries this season for 22 yards. King will take the snap, looks downfield. There it is, number six is Turner. I think he might have been open a couple of other times too. And the one time when King was under pressure and it was deflected. Take a look at that one again. You'll see Ryan Turner run a nice route and King puts it right on the money. Comes right across the middle. Nice pickup by the defensive back, but not until 21 yards given up. So first and goal for Graham. And the Falcons knocking on the door. Cavaliers are going to show blitz and John Edwards, number 50, takes a step across the line, and that's going to be a penalty on the blue and gold. You know, one of the keys was eliminating mistakes, and that's the type of mistakes that Sydney need or Sydney Lehman needs to correct. Yeah, they were going to definitely show him blitz that time as Edwards was coming hard. Football. Now at about the six yard line and King will go right side. Cavaliers trying to stretch it out. Nice defensive play by Barhorse. That's gonna be a, a loss on the play as Barhorse made a nice play. And we can take a look at that one again on Winner's Replays brought to you by Winner's Meats. As nice Barhorse. Quick loss of five. Fellow teammate Tyler Salmon also out there. Big loss, big play by the Cavaliers. Lehman looking to do the bend, but don't break. Howard stands next to 
King in the backfield for the Falcons. King's going to throw it. Boy, wide open, Van Scoy. He was wide open, Matt. Absolutely, right there, right in the end zone. Would have been an easy walk in. He was looking for interference, but I, I don't know. He had two steps on the defender. That's a couple of drops now quickly by Graham, too. I mean, every pass has been catchable, or at least in the hands, that they've let two hit the ground. That King is a junior. He's only a junior. Very impressive looking young quarterback, at least early in this game so far. This time it's going to be handoff. Van Scoy is. He's brought down there by Bertini. Football's going to be at the five. So here we go. Fourth and fourth down. Football just on the other side of the five yard line. Tough decision. 22 yard field goal. Or are you going to go for the touchdown? Sydney with a chance to take momentum back here. They're going to go for the. Uh, they're going to go for it. Football at the five. And King, of course, he's very explosive. Turner to the right side, three receivers left. That's the way he'll roll. He's going to look for the end zone himself, but they're going to hold him out. Good defense there by Bertini as he comes up. And Graham's drive will fall short here in the first quarter. You can see Bertini's good defense here. We just roll into the right, and there's no one to pass to. So run pass option pushed out of bounds right at the five. So the Cavaliers will have the football. And it's Penalty declined on the play. Two fifty eight to go here in the opening quarter of play on the first National Bank Think First scoreboard. Layman nothing, Graham nothing. Cavaliers will have the football deep in their own territory, but we're locked in that scoreless battle and. So far, Lehman has seven rushes, 38 yards, averaging five yards a rush. On the pass, 23 yards passing. Only three passes to seven yards is their average in passing. So look for them to try to move the ball methodically down the field again. And this now becomes a game of field position. So let's see how the Cavaliers do this time. Handoff. I believe it's Salman with the carry. Tyler Salman with his first carry of tonight's game. He'll pick up a yard or so. Well, no gain on the play, actually. Football still at the five, so tough go that time for the Cavaliers. You know, they seem to do well on the option play. Something I would probably go back to. They've got three players to the left side. That's the way Bertini goes. Here comes the option, but he's going to be buried before he, oh, the ball falls on the ground. He got the pitch off, and just couldn't make anything of it. Good pitch by Bertini to Salmon. I'd like to see that one myself again. What do you think? Yeah, it looked Matt? like it bounced off the field. Got the pitch right there. Picked up and. Well, I'll tell you. The Falcons, they covered it up pretty good, too. We've got a timeout on the field with 2.04 to go. Our score, Lehman nothing, Graham nothing. We'll be back right after this. Hey, Botkins, I'm Brett Gerstner with NK Telco, and we are here for you and to help you operate your business network. Hey, Anna, I'm John Boyd with NK Telco. We are here for you to expand our fiber network, which means faster internet speeds for you. Hey, Sydney, I'm Pat Thomas with NK Telco, and we are here for you for all your customer service needs. Hey, Fort Army, I'm Nick Garrett with NK Telco, and we are here for you with Hometown Pride. Hi, Rishi, I'm Tim Metzger, and we are here for you for your installation of your telephone, cable TV, and internet. At First National Bank, we are working hard to make your life a little easier. With products like Card Valet, an app allowing you to control your cards with real-time notifications, transaction restrictions, and spending limits. The ability to access your money through 55,000 all-point ATMs across the country, surcharge free. Live customer support when you need it. And online and mobile banking, allowing you to gain access to your financial information wherever and whenever you like. First National Bank, making your life a little easier. 
Big third down play for Lehman. Bertini will take the take the snap. Salmon in the backfield. He's going to try and throw it or get out of there. There's a flag. It might be a face mask. Pass is going to be knocked down and incomplete, or it could be a possible hold. Let's see what the call is. If he's in the end zone and that was a hold, that'll be a safety. No score here on the first National Bank Think First scoreboard as we approach the final two minutes. So that's going to be a first down, Sydney, on the holding call against the defense. That's an unusual call. Let's see what well, they're still. They didn't. They're still, still talking. Holding yep. on the defense, so that's going to be 10 yards, and that will be a, will it be a first down? Oh, automatic first down. Automatic the hold. first down. First and 10 for Layman, so the Cavaliers cap, try to capitalize on a penalty there by, by Graham. They were having a, they were backed up and having a hard time getting yardage there. Oh, and you can see the blue of that carpet below your feet. That's not a comfortable place to be. Short pass, McIver will make the catch and we'll pick up a couple of yards. Going to pick up not a strong six on that pass. RJ Bertini to Landon McIver, it's complete. Landon Back McIver, number two with the catch. 5'10 junior, football's at the 23, so. Sydney looking to cap, or Sydney Lehman looking to capitalize. Second down about three, and Bertini will keep it. Not much running room there. There is just not much give in the trenches there by Graham doing a nice job of protecting the line. A couple of big guys inside. 53 Ryan Owens and junior Ethan Grove all in the middle there for the Falcons. Layman Catholic with a long two yards. Barhorst gets across the 30 and they'll have the first down. Drew Barhorst with the carry. I'll tell you, Barhorst is an excellent runner. And once he gets going north-south, he just lowers the boom and goes. Nice job of moving the ball to the outside so it can't be stripped this time. Picks up a quick six yards. Nice stiff arm, picks up a couple yards after that. Sydney with their fifth first down of the half. Bertini looking downfield. There he is, wide open. A catch made by O'Leary. He's still on his feet. He's at the 30. He's at the 20. Brandon O'Leary is going to go all the way. Long 66 yard pass play. 66 yard touchdown pass from Bertini. To O'Leary, Brandon O'Leary with the catch. Let's look at that one again. Just way open, way out on the flat, cuts it back in. Nice cut, no help for the strong safety. Beautiful run by O'Leary and the Cavaliers with 32 seconds left here in the opening quarter are up six to nothing. Martini, that was a really nice touch pass to the outside. A little bit harder to hit him on the outside edge than it is to come in across the middle. Some real nice touch. Ethan Potts will try to add the extra point. Snap is up. The kick is off target. Low and wide right. And with 32 seconds left here in the opening quarter of football from Alexander Stadium in Piqua, our score, the Lehman Cavaliers six and the Graham Falcons nothing. We'll be back right after this. At CAPT, we use hometown opportunity to make sure that when we have a position open within the facility, it gets put on the website. We've really been excited to see how that has grown so much over the last several years. If anyone is looking for a job, it's the, it's the best place to go. We really want to do whatever we can to get folks that are from this community back to this area. I would recommend any manufacturing company that they take a look at it. It's a very good benefit for companies at no cost. 
Near the end of the first quarter has our first scoring strike as the Cavaliers Bertini to O'Leary. Very nice pass play, Matt. Real nice deep pass play. Hit him out in the flat about 15 yards out and he took it the rest of the way for a total of 66 on that pitch and catch. As Potts will tee it up this game tonight. Of course, brought to you by Grand Lake Health Systems. We don't want to forget them. Bring you football action between Lehman and Graham. Potts will kick it away. Both teams moving the ball well tonight if you're just joining us. Sydney just taking back momentum given to him by a small penalty. That's a live ball. That's loose ball picked up there by Turner. He's still on his feet and he'll finally come down at the 20. Looks like you said, that's a live yeah, football. Yeah, that's dangerous. And the spin on that ball was going back towards the <laughs> Lehman Cavaliers. I uh, say that was not looking good for Graham at that point. Good job, or luckily for them, it hit the back of the player's leg, or that might be Sydney's ball. Down to the, probably the last play of the first half, 28 seconds left in the first. Let's see what Brady King can do. He's number 15. He's been most of the offense for the Falcons. He certainly can throw it and he can run it, that's for sure. This time he'll hand off to Howard. Howard's gonna take it up across the 25. Nice gain and he'll be close to that first down before he's knocked out of bounds there by Noah Young and number 34, John Wessner for the Cavaliers. And just nice reverse counter here off to the left side coming across put the stiff arm out just not high enough looks like we're going to need a measurement in there for measurement. looks like O'Leary might have been in on the stop as well for the layman that time football just shy of the 31 it's awfully close I mean it's hard to tell from where we're at they're going to give him the first down So, so one run for 10 yards. And that'll end the first Lehman quarter of football. Six. Our score, Lehman six, Graham nothing. We'll be back with second quarter action right after this. Flygem Residential Solutions is part of Cornerstone Building Brands, North America's largest manufacturer of exterior building products. And the success of our company is directly related to the contributions of our employees. We are currently looking for machine operators, maintenance technicians, forklift operators, and more to join our growing team at our facility in Sydney, Ohio. Plygem offers competitive pay, a full benefits package, as well as opportunities for bonus pay and long-term advancement. Become a part of our strong foundation. Hi, I'm Mallory. My grandpa's been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. Tonight's game brought to you by Grand Lake Health Systems here on NK Telco Sports. And uh, Graham and Lehman doing battle. The Cavaliers on a 66 yard strike from Bertini to O'Leary are up. The Falcons trying to get on the scoreboard as we begin the second quarter. Brady King, the junior quarterback, goes left. It's going to be forced out of bounds here, but I that, think there's a penalty marker down on the play. And there's going to be a block in the back. Graham's been, uh, well, both teams have had their early penalties here that have slowed them at times. Yeah, Graham's unfortunately have been the pivotal kind that give momentum and then take momentum. Yeah, the big holding penalty there when they had field position, the field position battle won, then it led to the big touchdown pass. Now they're gonna call that a hold, so they're taking it back 10 yards. So, so much for the block in the back. So that puts the football back. Well, it goes all the way back to the Graham 25 yard line. 
First down and about 15 or so. 16, let's call it. First and 16. King is the only back in the backfield. In motion is Howard, he'll get the football. Shows some speed to the outside, comes back inside, but Barhorse, boy, perfect tackle there by Barhorse as he. That's what you like to see, the player getting the shoulder into the running back, tackling with his body. There you see Barhorse, number 12, coming all the way over from that outside spot, nice tackle. Second down and nine. Falcons look to the sideline. Howard in the backfield alongside King. King looks downfield. Over the middle of the pass, but it's short. Intended for Van Scoy, but it's well short. That's in a dangerous spot. He's trying to split two defenders there. Sydney would have been looking back. They actually had the better play on the ball. Good yeah. pressure by Sydney up front. Young on defense turned around. The ball was still short of him. Long third and nine. King, three receivers to the left side, one to the right side. King goes to the short side. He'll throw down field. Passes overthrown and incomplete. That'll stop the clock at 10:39 on the First National Bank Think First scoreboard. This be first opportunity for Sydney to return a punt. Let's see, he'll go back to punt it for Graham. Mm -hmm. Deep for Sydney will be R.J. Bertini. He'll stand at the Lehman 34-yard line. I've never been a fan of a quarterback being the gunner back there. King's going to kick it. High snap, kick is away. Bertini's gonna watch it go out of bounds at the 33. Combine ready kick goes out of bounds. So the Cavaliers are gonna have it at the 33, first and 10. Let's see what they can do on, on offense as they enjoy a six to nothing lead early here in the second quarter. And of course, you know, it's still only the third week of the season, but if you mentioned it earlier, the Lehman Cavaliers, they go into league play next week. They play three non-league games, so it's very important to do something in these non-league games as far as uh, accumulating computer points. Yeah, they definitely need to do something. They need a good quality win here. But not only do they need that, they need to continue having Graham win. Barhorse tries to turn the corner to pick up a couple. Barhorse will get to the 35-yard line. See how they stretch this play out. There's the handoff. Riley Fritz had a hand on him, number four for Graham. Finally brought down by number 62, Tyler Bailey. Didn't give any yards on that play. Sydney coming into this series, there are 11 rushes for 45 yards, five passes for 95. So averaging four and a half and 19 per pass. So of course, 66 yarder helps. And the Cavaliers are looking at a penalty. I'm not quite sure what they're calling. By the looks of Bartini, he's saying the legal shift, but I didn't even see movement. Officials still discussing. Point to the sidelines. It's taking them long enough. <laughs> Cavaliers are ready to play. <laughs> So it's a 15 yard, 10 yard variety. 10 yards, so it must have been holding. So first and 20. <laughs> first and 20. Fake. Bertini, I think he just slipped, didn't he? He goes down. He tried to make his cut. Not sure if he was rolling out or exactly what it is, but now Cavaliers really faced with some. 31 yards to a first down, so 
but ball goes all the way to the 14. They've got to get all the way to the 43 for the first down. And they're losing uh, field position on the last two plays at least. Barhorst in the backfield. Bertini will take the snap. Fakes the handoff. He's going to come up running. He reverses field, tries to go up the middle and gets to about the 20 yard line where he's hit there by Nick Baker, number 71. It's a nice pickup of four yards. Watch Bertini reverse direction here. He faked the handoff. It's nowhere to go, so he brought it back. Might want to get that second hand up on the ball. You okay. lose one over here on this end and momentum can definitely swing. Short field position, that's great territory for Graham. Bertini straight back down the field he goes. Gonna overthrow his intended receiver, which could have been Gabe Kanapke or possibly uh, Brandon O'Leary. That stops the clock at 8.54, and it's fourth down and 24. And that means Barhorse will step in to punt the football away for the Cavaliers. Cavaliers going to give Graham their first short field of the evening. Ryan Turner's going to stand at the Graham 45 to take the punt. Low line drive punt hits at the 48 and takes a great layman roll. It's still rolling. Turner's probably should get out of the way. He picks it up and he gets tackled at the five. So that was kicked from the 19. Got to get the We're going to do some quick math here, but 19 plus 29 plus 45. 45. That's a 70 yard kick. 45. 29. 29. That'd be a 73 yard punt. Talk about changing field position. If that is your norm, your you coach ever, loves you. Have you ever seen a 73 yard punt? I, I, there was actually one last week. It was the first time I ever seen one over 70. It was during a college game. College game. The longest I've seen in person was 69 yards. Well, we just got it beat. <laughs> My son kicked it. <laughs> I dare to say there's a player on the sideline of Graham right now getting talked to. Wow. You don't jump on it at the five. Let it go. Let's thank our sponsors for tonight's game between uh, Graham and Lehman, Grand Lake Health System, American Trim, First National Bank, Winners Meets, NK Telco, Frost Roofing, Hometown Opportunity, Minster Bank, Ply Gym, Precision Strip, Schwederman Pharmacy, Wilson Health, Cy Schwederman, Carriage Works, Kogi Plumbing, Fowler's TV, Wayne Trail, Cargill, Whitener's IGA, Securecom, St. Henry Bank, The Spot Restaurant, and St. Mary's Foundry all bringing you tonight's game between Lehman and Graham. Our score, six to nothing, Lehman, they make up Cavaliers, make the long pass play stand up, and now we've just seen Barhorse boot one 73 yards and pin the Falcons deep into their own territory and all that field position we were talking about that we thought they were going to gain out the window. And that's where kickers don't get much love from the announcers when it threw out a game, but right there shows you the importance of specialty players. King will call the signals. He'll land off to Van Scoy. Looks like Barhorse might be in on the stop that time. Drew Barhorse with the stop. He kicks it, makes the tackle. See good defense here. A replay right here in between where they come right outside the end, blocking in. No pulling guard to pick up the defensive end. Player going off the field for Lehman. Looks like there's an injury to the arm. He may have gotten a cut. Yep, it's number, number 50, John Edwards will go out. 
Falcons are going to run the spread as they have ha have they done for the entire game and boy uh, Cavaliers just read it perfectly that time that's penalty flag driving him to the ground after the whistle so yeah. sportsman like conduct penalty take a look at that one one more time so they have him stop there driving him an additional five yards back 89 coming in had be Noah Young going to get the 15 yarder. I think he may have thought there was a fumble. So each team now with four first downs, one by penalty. 7.55 to go here in the second quarter of play from Alexander Stadium in Piqua on the Perk Field here at Alexander Stadium. This is about the same spot of the field where Sydney got a spark from a penalty. We can see if Graham can come back. So Lehman Catholic going to try to hold him off. John Edwards back in the game. Van Scoy in the backfield. Clark's going to go short. No yardage there. Russell with the catch. No gain on the play. So pass backwards one for a loss of four yards. He just throws it across. Still forward, but the defense just swarming by Lehman Catholic. Bar horse there first, and then comes Tyler Salmon. Salmon with the stop. Taking back six yards. Second now, and 16. Long yardage for the Falcons. King will go to the left side and on the run. Nice catch by Collier. And he'll get the first down and the Falcons bounce back. Nice catch there by Hunter Collier. If King can get his shoulders squared, he's pretty accurate on the throw. Just a lot of times he's been rushed. Sydney has been crashing down. And holding penalty on. Layman Catholic's going to be declined. So it's first and 10 for Graham. They'll have the football at the 32 yard line. And you expect to see holding calls uh, just not as much longer as we're seeing here. I mean, this being the third game of the year. But both teams do have a lot of players that go both ways. So therefore, makes you wonder if they're tired. Could be King. Out in the short flat to Collier. He's brought down immediately there by Brendan O'Leary at the 42 yard line. He's close to that first down. Take a look at King's pass. Just out to the wing. Nice job of avoiding the rush. Right on target. Defensive back just a little bit too far away. And we've got a first down for Graham. Drive continuing as they approach. Layman territory. King over to the left side. It's going to be incomplete. Intended for Ryan Turner. Another flag down. I think this is going to be holding again on Layman Catholic. Holding calls are bountiful here in the first half. Well, it could have been. Oh, that looks like face mask. I was getting ready to say it could be a face mask call as well because he grabbed him right by the helmet. And that's the kind of mistakes you don't want to have because far and away, it was away from the play. I mean, it had no effect on the play, but yet you give them a free five yards, now first and five. This time they'll hand off and it's going to be a loose football, but I believe King fell on the ball. Van Scoy was going to get the football. See the snap pops out and King recovers. There's three layman defenders right there, right away. Yeah, just a lazy set inside the bread basket there with the ball. Timeout on the field. Got a timeout. Our score. Layman six, Graham nothing, 528 to go here before the first half ends. We'll return right after this. 
Together, we are family, working safely for our loved ones. We are problem solvers who challenge the status quo and drive improvement. We care about our customer relationships. We stay true to our values, caring and respecting one another. We embrace change as we journey through our career. We are Precision Strip, the world's leading processor of rolled steel and aluminum. Precision Strip, doing the exceptional. Schwiedemann Pharmacies began serving the people of Auglaes County in 1916 when Urban Schwiedemann purchased the building and business from J.H. Hoffman. The New Bremen location is one of the longest running pharmacies in the country, with over 110 years of serving its patrons. Since then, four more stores have been added, Coldwater, St. Mary's, Minster, and Wapakoneta to round out the group. Our services include prescription refills, home medical equipment, nursing home services, customized compounded medication, vaccinations, and so much more. Back here at Alexander Stadium in Piqua, Lehman and Graham in a 6 nothing battle. Cavaliers of Lehman on top. Graham trying to put together a drive there at their own 42 yard line. Short pass to Van Scoy out of the backfield. He's chased down by a host of Lehman defenders and knocked out of bounds as he steps inside. Layman territory and there's no penalty. Nice job for an 11 yard gain first down. So advance the sticks. Football will be at the 47 yard line of Layman as the Falcons move into Cavalier territory. I believe this is the first time they've done that all night, is it not? First time in, in Layman territory. I believe you're right. King straight back. He's going to run it. There's a flag. Big yardage by King. He's still on his feet. He's at the 10. He's going to find the end zone. And now we've got to wait and see what the flag is. Looks like it's going to come back. The center had a handful of jersey and shoulder pads inside there with the big uglies. And they're saying Goes illegal hand in the face. Touchdown, Graham. So count that up for a 47-yard run for the quarterback. They get into Lehman territory for the first time, and it's a 47-yard run for touchdown. Now comes the all-important extra point. Looks like Ryan Turner will do the kicking honors. Jaden Sells, the backup sophomore quarterback, will be the holder for Graham. Let's see if Turner can put him on top. Snap is not good. Kick is blocked. Oh, 75 with the block. The snap was bobbled by the holder, and the kick never materialized. So. Layman's defense comes up strong on the extra point and with 5.09 to go here in the first half, we are tied. Layman six, Graham six, will return right after this. New Knoxville Supply Company, the supply source for residential, commercial, and industrial jobs. We specialize in plumbing products from many name brands, electrical products from replacing a light switch to rewiring an entire house, heating, air conditioning, and geothermal products, sheet metal ductwork, installations, and service. We are now housing more inventory, so all the hardware items you need to complete the job are available right away. New Knoxville Supply. Stop in, call, or check us out online at newknoxvillesupply.com. Brady King, Graham's quarterback, gets a 47-yard touchdown run. There you see the flag, but goes against Lehman, and there's the fine run by the junior quarterback. Nice job of cutting back to where the players weren't at, picking up the last 10 yards. So that ties it up. Both teams have missed extra points, and as we approach halftime, we're tied at six. Turner will kick it away. Really didn't have much of a chance on that extra point kick as snap a little low, the handle difficult, and here's a short kick. It's got to be picked up by McIver. He'll return it and get it up across the 35. 
to go about the 36 yard line. So Lehman will have it first and 10 football to 36. I tell you, penalties really hurting the Cavaliers here tonight. That's the biggest thing that I've counted so far is multiple penalties and every and it's not the five yard variety, it's the tens, the fifteens. And we said before that series, Sydney scored off of a penalty and Graham gave one back to him as well. So Lehman Catholic on the offensive side. Let's see what we got here. Got three receivers to the right. Low snap. Barhorst has the football and gets upfield. Nice For a normal broken play. That turned out pretty well. That's the biggest run of the night for, La for the Lehman Catholic. He can run it, can he? Now he's nice definitely a shot. downhill runner. Look at that. Nice. Boom. He didn't mind that contact. Lehman picking up the pace just a little bit. Here comes Barhorst again. Boy, he snap was bobbled. That's dangerous business as the Falcons put a hit on him, but he hangs on to the football. Barhorst will go out. Salmon will be in. Tyler Salmon, number 28, the running back now for the Cavaliers. Bertini straight back. Finds McIver. Has the first down. Still on his feet. Picks up some five or six extra yards after we thought he was going down. And he'll get the football to about the nice 20 yard, yard line, pitching catch. yard line. Got a market at the 32. And just nice job on the pitching catch here. Salmon still in the backfield. Three receivers slot to the left side. Salmon will gain a yard or so. Seems like the plays with Sydney are rather big plays, six yards or more, or none. Of course, the biggest play was the 66 yard touchdown pass that O'Leary caught from Bertini in the first quarter. That's the only scoring so far for Lehman. Salmon, fake, Bertini, short pass intended for McIver, but incomplete. Clock will stop with 319 to go here in quarter number two. Bertini over 115 yards passing so far in this game. Drew Barhorst will come back into the lineup for Lehman. And Salmon will go out. Cavaliers looking for win number one. 0 and 2 and on the season. Graham stands at 1 and 1 with the win last week against Southeastern. Bertini. Pass is complete. O'Leary with the catch. Nice six yard gain. Look at the replay. Open and caught. Right on the money. Nice catch by O'Leary. Football's at the 23. Layman. Tied with Graham here on the first National Bank Think First scoreboard. Big fourth down coming up for Layman Catholic. Fourth and one. Short Maybe yardage. less than one. That's what I hate about a uh, shotgun team. You're giving up four yards just on the snap. They lined up in the room. <laughs> I don't think that was the formation that they wanted. They have Barhorse to the right side with those three receivers and Salmon in the backfield. We'll take a timeout, 2.29 to go. Our score, Graham six, Lehman six. We'll be back right after this. 
For over 150 years, Cargill has been helping people be successful worldwide. Cargill has always done business responsibly and in a way that makes us proud. Whether it is educating farmers in India or providing bikes to students with perfect attendance right here at home, Cargill is helping people thrive. The Sydney plant is just one piece of a global company that provides employment for hundreds of thousands, food for the world, and support for thousands of businesses. Be a part of something great at Cargill.com. Big fourth down play, and the Cavaliers take the time out to think about it. As there you see Bertini talking with one of the layman coaches, standing right there on the 30-yard line. Careful instruction. Salmon in the backfield. He's standing at the 30. They need one yard for the first down. Fourth down play. Bertini will take the snap. He's going to go option right, cuts it back up. He has the first down and more. Give him a gain of three. Nice play, nice call. Cuts it up. Just nice, patient running, waiting for the hole. He sees it and goes for it. Defensive line for Graham, just moving a little bit to the sidelines after the back of the backfield. This will be Barhorst. He'll drive close to be at the 16 yard line. So that'll be second down and seven. It's just the fourth offensive series for Lehman Catholic. Kanapke will go to the right side. Salma will go wide right. Barhorst in the backfield. Kanapke with the catch. He's hit right at the 15. Not much of a game that time. Give him a yard on the pass. Adams with the stop. Pass right on target for Kanapke, but they're hoping that Kanapke, once he catches it, the defender's going to miss him. But it's third down. We'll call it five. Clock approaching 110 to go. Here in the first half of play. Barhorst straight ahead inside the 10. Should have the first down, another penalty. Looks like that's gonna be a dead ball foul as well. See who that goes against. Sydney's awful deep off the ball. I believe they think that's coming against them. One minute to go here in the first half. It's third down and five. Well, they got the first on the play. Are they calling this dead or live? So Let's dead ball, they... personal foul against Sydney. So it should go to first down. 15 yards against the Cavaliers. So it'll be first and 10. Football goes all the way back to the 25 on that penalty. Layman's out of the huddle, first and 10, first and goal, basically. I'd say we're discussing even more. Yep. I think they got it right, right where it is. Exactly. It should be first and goal at 25. Well, if it's a dead ball, yeah, yeah, that's, that's absolutely right. Lots of discussions with the crew here tonight. Lots of penalties, too. <laughs> well, I guess it depends if they marked it at the 10 or the 9. Bertini scrambling. He's going to unload it. That's going to be incomplete. No receiver in the vicinity of the ball. Imaginary receiver there. Unless he's trying to lead one of the McIver, who was to the left side. But anyway, it's second down and 24. Really, the Cavaliers 
49 seconds left on the clock. Really got to go for the end zone almost. Yeah, you're at the point. Up and down over the middle. There's the pass. Nice pass and nice catch as Brand Brendan O'Leary makes the play. O'Leary's a pretty good receiver for uh, the Cavaliers. Good hands. He makes the catch. Football to six. 40 and here's seconds. the replay. Just nice catch on the run. Nice job going up, getting it with his hands. Third and goal from the five. Let's see what the Cavaliers do. He's going to. He's going to toss it there. Receiver will catch it and not quite sure who that is. He's not going to get in the end zone. Down on the two. That's number number two. Number two. Landon McIver with the catch. Clock is at 26 seconds. There you see the catch. It's going for the end zone. Sydney so still has a timeout. Van Scoy keeps him out of the end zone. That saved the touchdown, so it's fourth down and on the last play of this half. Going to let it count down as far as we can take it. Yeah, at this point, you might as well run it out. You can't get a first down unless it's a defensive penalty. I mean, me personally, I don't like this call because you can get a pass interference in the end zone and it puts it on the one. But with the zeros on the clock, I'm not sure if you get another offensive play or not at that situation. I think it'd be time you know, end of regulation. Two Only seconds a remain, and Lehman takes a timeout. We'll take an opportunity to thank our sponsors: uh, Grand Lake Health System, American Trim, First National Bank, Winners Meats, NK Telco, Frost Roofing, Hometown Opportunity, Minster Bank, Ply Gym, Precision Strip, Sweeterman Pharmacy. Wilson Health, Cy Schwederman, Carriage Works, Kogi Plumbing, Fowler's TV, Wayne Trail, Cargill, Wagner's IGA, Securecom, St. Henry Bank, The Spot Restaurant, and St. Mary's Foundry. I'll bring you tonight's game between Lehman and Graham. It's been a pretty good battle here. Lots of penalties on Lehman's side. They've been able to move the football at times and really uh, some of those Penalties have just prevented him. We'll see what happens here. Let's set the stage. There's two seconds remaining before halftime. Our score is tied at six. So we have one last play here in the first half normally. Let's see what they do. Barhorst is behind Bertini. He gets the call and he's not going to find the end zone. And the Graham defense digs in, and that's going to end our first half of football on a high note for the Graham defense. Our score, Lehman 6, Graham 6. We'll be back right after this. Take your game day party to the next level with a new TV and Sono sound system from Fowler's TV in St. Mary's. A Sono sound system takes all the action into every room of your home and outdoors. Break your home into zones and control the content and level right from your phone or tablet, enabling you to enjoy the game or not with the touch of a finger. Add a security camera system connected to your TV from Fowler's and never leave another friend stuck outside in the cold. Fowler's TV, taking game day to the next level. Wagner's IGA has been servicing their communities for more than 95 years, spanning three generations. Wagner's founded their business on two basic principles, excellent customer service and quality products. Visit all our locations and experience the finest selection of deli, fresh meats, and variety of beverage choices. While there, don't forget to check out our vast selection of fresh coffee beans, produce, dairy, and bakery items. Visit Wagner's today in Minster, Fort Laramie, and New Bremen, and check us out on Facebook. At Wilson Health, we're extending care beyond the walls of the hospital with resources designed to keep you in charge of your health. Our independence and connection to the community are unique in a world where big health care strives to act like corporations. Our tools may be the same, but we are different. We're neighbors, friends, and family who truly care about the people who live here. We call it caring without limits, and it's just the beginning of a whole new Wilson Health.
tonight's game brought to you by Grand Lake Health Systems. And we're about to begin the third quarter play. Let's take a look at those halftime numbers. Matt Everidge and Graham and Lehman in a 6-6 battle. The Cavaliers just missed touchdown at the end of the first half. Yep, so for Graham, they got six points off a total of 170 yards, 99 rushing, 71 passing, seven first downs, no turnovers. For Lehman Catholic, they have six points as well. 211 total yards, 61 on the ground, 150 in the air, nine first downs, one turnover, and the one other key stat you're not seeing there that was in the game, 73 yard punt. So that helped keep Lehman tied up. Yeah, that punt that uh, Barhorst had was a, a major one. The only scoring for the Cavaliers came on a uh, what a 66-yard uh, pass play from R.J. Bertini to uh, Brendan O'Leary near the end of the first quarter. And uh, Graham countered in the second quarter with a 47-yard run by their fine quarterback, Brady King. And we are both extra point kicks were missed. Cavaliers had a great opportunity right before halftime. Football on the two-yard line unable to get that touchdown in on the last play of the first half. Yeah, the opening series for Sydney as well, they did really well. They had seven, uh, seven rushes, 38 yards, three passes for 23, but they fumbled. So should be up. Unfortunately for Lehman Catholic, we are knotted and the rain has begun to fall. Howard will take the opening kickoff and he's gonna go to the house. Howard at the 10, he's gonna go all the way for a touchdown. Number 13, Jason Howard took Potts kick and returns it the distance. I would say that was about a 90 yard return. Yeah, he took it to the house. The rain started falling and he just turned the Jets on. Be Let's take a look at that one again, see where it fields it. Yeah, he's up a little bit, let's call it the 19. And look at that blocking. Boy, look at the hole for Howard. 81 yard run. 81 yard return and Graham gonna go for two. Oh no, they're lined up for one. We're gonna try this extra point kick one more time. Rain coming down steady and hard. Snap is good, kick is up, and it's good. So the extra point goes drilled home and Graham takes a 13 to six lead over Lehman. We'll return to Alexander Stadium right after this. Here's the thing. If you're the kind of guy who eats, sleeps, and breathes farming, who gets up at dawn, determined to get the best crop and the best yield, why surrender to the mercy of the water table? Cy Schwiedemann Incorporated can lower your water table to an average of two to three feet below the surface, allowing you to grow stronger, healthier plants that root deeper, that are more resilient to the elements, that enable longer growing seasons, and can produce higher results in the fields and in your pocket. Trust CSI, your drainage experts since 1946. Telco Sports. More than 140 local high school and college games. Football, basketball, volleyball, baseball, softball, and soccer. Support your local team with NK Telco Sports and promote your business to 250,000 households in Northwest Ohio. Call 1-888-NK-TELCO and get in the game. Back here on tonight's game brought to you by the Grand Lake Health Systems. The rain is falling and we've had lightning. So we're gonna have a break here with 11.47 to go here in the third quarter of play. The Graham Falcons on an 81 yard kickoff return of the second half for a touchdown by Jason Howard go up by seven. So we'll take a break our score. Graham 13, Layman six. We'll return right after this. CarriageWorks has expanded and now can hold up to 25 cars in our service bay. CarriageWorks thrives on customer satisfaction. We accomplish that by providing top of the line technology. CarriageWorks now uses a laser beam system to measure down to the millimeter of factory specs to better service you and get you back on the road. CarriageWorks has a brand new top of the line paint booth that uses waterborne paint. 
There's no job too big or too small for carriage works. We are certified collision specialists. Come in and see us today. Welcome back to tonight's game between Graham and Lehman, brought to you by the Grand Lake Health System. And uh, lightning delay took us uh, on a delay of just about a half hour or so. The storm moved through. Of course, Lehman's trying to figure out that 13 seconds that transpired between the kickoff of the second half and uh, the lightning delay, Matt. Yeah, that was the calm before the storm if you're a Graham fan. 81 yards of calm right down the field on the opening kickoff for a 13-6 lead. Yeah, big play, big return. Uh, Jason Howard, 81-yard return. And we've had, uh, it's been a game of big plays, actually. 47-yard run by Graham's quarterback, uh, Clark or King for 47 yards and a 66 yard scoring pass uh, by Bertini to uh, to O'Leary in the first quarter. So the kick for the following the touchdown return by Graham and it's bounced and picked up there by the Cavaliers and they'll do business at the 28 yard line and things come back to life after a couple of bolts of lightning and a pretty good downpour, but fortunately really not all that long and we'll get back on track here in just a, a very short time. Yeah. Advantage playing on turf here as well. Water's not gonna sit, it's just gonna seep through. So it's like you're on a dry field. Bertini calls the signals. Cavaliers with the football. They're gonna throw it down the middle. The pass is intercepted over the middle. Picked off by number six, that's Ryan Turner. And the first play from the line of scrimmage, uh, a problem for the Cavaliers. Looks like it might have been tipped on that replay and the interception. That yeah, puts Graham in great field position on the 41. Football at the 41. Safe to say the first 21 seconds of the second half have been devastating to Lehman. Let's see if Graham goes deep here, deep here to put a nail in the coffin. Clark, or rather King will, you know who I'm thinking of? Baseball player, Brady Clark. <laughs> <laughs> for some reason. <laughs> played for the Reds a thousand years ago or played for somebody like that. So. Dropping back to pass is King over the middle. Open is Turner and he'll make the move and he'll go inside the 15 and there's a flag on the play. Another flag, looks like it might be a face mask. Bringing the ball back to the 17 and they're gonna be walking. It's not a face mask. Offensive holding. Gonna mark it off. Starting at the 17. So the result of the play will be a first down. Football will settle in at the 27 yard line. As they move the chains, set the chains. Tell you, King and Turner make for a pretty good combination down the middle. Turner with some pretty good speed. They've done a good job of connecting up all night. Here comes the handoff to Van Scoy. And he's going to be pushed back by the Cavalier defense. Host of Cavaliers in on the stop. Both teams in the center of the defense, they've done well of containing, just not on the outside edge is where they've given up the yards, but you're cutting in and five, six people on the layman side. That's that's the kind of gang tackling you like to see as a coach. And Scoy stopped there by Salmon and a bunch of other blue and gold Cavaliers. King standing at the 34. Under pressure, he rolls to his right, looks downfield, he's gonna run it. He'll go out of bounds at the 25 yard line. Nice pickup of four yards. That'll set up third and eight. Third and seven. 
though it be a long seven. Move the chains that made up the yardage that they had lost. So third down play coming up here for for Graham. When we got to the opening keys, time of possession was one of the big ones that Lehman needed. They've yet to have the ball for, for the more amount of time than what Graham has. King pass almost intercepted as it's overthrown the intended receiver in the end zone. So that's going to make it a fourth down. You can take a look at this one one more time on this rolling out on the waggle. Players wide open in the field. He had two receivers wide open, went to the double coverage instead of the single coverage. Overshot his defender or his receiver. Football to 25, fourth down. We'll call it seven. They got one on one out here on an island. Yeah, that's Turner. They're going to take a timeout. Timeout. Graham will take a break as well. 10.22 to go in the third quarter of play. Our score, Graham 13, Layman 6 will return right after this. What is the best way to reach your customers? Have you tried traditional marketing and fallen short? Use video marketing from NKT Productions. It's effective, economical, and it can be used across multiple devices. Capture your customers where they spend their time most, on TV, websites, email, and social media. Don't miss your chance to show the world how great your business is with video marketing. Experience the power of video marketing through NKT Productions. Meet with one of our experienced media agents to learn more. Layman and Graham doing battle here at Alexander Stadium in Piqua. It's been a good one, 13 to six our score. Graham threatening one more time. The Falcons with the lead, the football at the 25. They took a timeout as we were discussing before our break. They had uh, How or, uh, Ryan Turner isolated over here to the left and they took the timeout. We'll see how it's set up this time. That's an unconventional set. Howard's to the inside this time, or closer to the quarterback. King goes back under pressure. He's scrambling, he'll get rid of it, and it's gonna be incomplete. So the fourth down play means, the unsuccessful fourth down play means the Cavaliers will, will hold and they'll get the football back. So Cavaliers out for their second attempt. Here in the second half, the first one, they had one passing play and it was intercepted. So trying to improve on that. Two turnovers already for Lehman here in this game. One in each half. Lots of great pressure that time by the Lehman defense. That interior lineman put the pressure on King and forced him to toss it away. They'll have it now on offense. First and 10 football to 25. Bertini on the pitch. Barhorst, he's at the 30. Cuts it up to the 35. Powers forward to near the 40. It's a nice start, starting run there. 13 okay. quick yards. See Bertini on this option play. Nice pitch. Drew Barhorst with good speed. Steps out of bound at the 39 yard line. First and 10 for the Cavaliers. That was really nice sportsmanship there by the coaching staff on the Sydney side, on the Lehman side. Number 17 went underneath the bench, got hurt. Coaches were there to help him up and then flagged to the other coach, hey, you're going to need a player. So good sportsmanship, and that's going to be offsides quickly. That was very quick. That has to be encroachment. It has to be somebody lining up. Defense. Offsides on the on the play. This will give Spriggs a chance to come back in. But they're going to keep him on the side, check him out. First and five. Layman's actually pretty fortunate at this point, only being down by six or seven, with two turnovers and both turnovers you know, just inopportune places where they've done it. One on a scoring or a potential scoring drive and then the other one deep in the own end. 
This will be first down and five as they reset. It's like a Graham personnel making the trek across the field over to the layman bench. Some discussion going on there. Perhaps that's uh, to do with the in injured player. Out of the shotgun, Bertini. Barhorse goes left side across the 45 to about the 49 yard line. He's talking earlier. He, he just seems like a really nice running back. I mean, not afraid to square up and make contact. He gets it close to that first down. It's going to be. Second and one. Second down and yeah, one yard line, one yard. Pretty safe play what they ran the last time. He's going to throw it. It's going to be incomplete. Pass intended for number five, Brendan O'Leary. A little bit high was the pass. O'Leary went up for it. Bertini yet to have a completion in the second half. That's where 150 yards of Sydney's offense came from the arm of him. Through was nine of 13 for 150 yards, no interceptions. And that, that's a pretty nice percentage for a high school player. Bertini in the shotgun, he'll hand off Barhorst. He's not going to get it this time, though. Give him a loss of two. Number 53 looked like Ryan Owens. Kind of in no man's land at this point. And Strader also in on that stop. It looks like Sydney's going to be going for it here. So Sydney Lehman. Fourth, down Fourth and, and two. I don't think I'd be Fourth, doing this. And almost three. <laughs> be a good spot for a pooch punt, maybe, but they are going for it. Option. Not read too well that time, and Graham's defense is going to come through and make the big play. I mean, if you're a defense in that situation, to give up a short pass, that happens. But to give it up on the ground, I mean, and that's where they keyed, and that's what Sydney's strength is, is on that option to the left or right. But Graham, nice job putting the Cavaliers back on defense, and here comes Graham again with great field position. Yeah, it was second down and one. They took the chance with the short yardage with a, with a pass. That was incomplete. And then the next two runs result in negative yardage. So let's see what Graham can do. They've got the football with 848 to go on the first National Bank Think First scoreboard. King, he'll hand off to Howard. Howard near the first down. 10 yards and plus. Just give him 12 yards on the carry. Nice power run after contact. You can see that one again, the handoff. Howard, who ran the kickoff back. Salmon with the stop from the linebacking position for the Cavaliers. Well, Graham's done a great job of finding uh, just the open spot. They're not necessarily hitting the hole they're supposed to hit, but just very patient running. Pass incomplete. Came. Trying to get that out to the Collier. Yep. Incomplete. That's the third passing play. Yet another flag on the play. This time it's holding against Graham. Take them back another 10, make it first and 20. Now from the 44. Going to move it all the way back to about the 40. Five yard line. I've never seen more 11 yard penalties and 12 yard <laughs> penalties in my life. I mean, I don't know if I see more holding penalties in one night. <laughs> there, they finally moved it up. Now we're officially Thank a you. 10 yard penalty. They heard you, Matt. <laughs> well, we've seen that quite often in this game. I mean, not one, the refs got a hard enough job as it is, but we just like to see it be called fair. 
King, he fakes the option to Van Skoik. He's going to take off running. He's got room. First down and more. All the way down oh. to the 27, 28 yard line. He's close to the first down. I got to be guarded there. He had a long way to go. And there's another flag on the field. See that play again. That was a pretty one. Watch the fake. It almost looked like a busted play. There's the fake. He keeps it. They're going to call the hold right there. Yeah, Bring them back it. again. So all that's for not basically a six yard or a four yard gain. And the football goes back to the 41 sets up first and four, 16. 16 yards for the first down. So uh, 17. Here we go again. It has to get frustrating. We had mentioned it in the first half that the holds were just being called all over the place. There's a short pass or lateral to Van. Lost three yards. Lost three yards on that play. You know, it makes you wonder how much the, all the holding calls has it to where the players are releasing. Noah Young will come back into the lineup for Lehman. To the Van Skoy goes to the left side. Three receivers on that side. King fakes it to Howard downfield. Pass under thrown. Unless it's intended for somebody other than Collier. <laughs> I guess they're the going to say Turner. <laughs> so pass is short. That stops the clock at 719 on the first National Bank Think First scoreboard. If Collier would have looked at his options, he had a player wide open on the far side. Third down and long. Again, you still got that one on one isolation on the far side of the field. King over the middle. Pass is complete. Nice catch there by Hunter Collier. It's a nice 13 yard gain that cuts it down. Football is going to be right at the 30. They need to get to 24, 24 yard line. But at least it's fourth and manageable at this point. Let's see another big fourth down play for the Falcons. King goes right. Pass almost intercepted. It's going to be incomplete, and the Lehman Cavaliers will take over once again. A yeah, nice choice by the defensive back, though, not to intercept that. As King's rolling out, throws it just off the defender, but a gain of 15 yards by not catching that ball for Lehman, seeing that it was fourth down. Drew Barhorst on the defense. So now the Cavaliers get the football back with 6.39 to go here in the third quarter. Difference in this game right now is the kickoff of the second half. An 81 yard return by Graham's Jason Howard. Then we took about a 30 minute break for Lightning. And we're back at it here now in the third quarter as Barhorse turns the corner. Ball's loose. Loses it out of bounds, but he should be near the first down, probably just a little bit short, depending on the mark. You can see that one again. Barhorse, just a strong runner. I believe that's the second time he's put it on the ground, but comes out wide. Just a nice bump on the end. The oh, ball bounces fumbled. out. Yep. So give him a run of nine. Going to be second down and about a half a yard for the first down. Four, four players to the left side. This time they go to the short back. Nice short pass for a gain of three. The bar horse still get the first down and the Cavalier drive will continue. Our game continues pass to Landon Geyer, good for the first down.
That's the first first down for Lehman in this half. Still only down by seven, very much in this game. Defense has held them well. First and 10. In motion, Bertini will keep it. Nice gain up the middle and he'll get to midfield and into Graham territory at the 49. Another nice run of nine, a little bit of misdirection out towards us and right up the middle. Got a first down. See this fine run there by Bertini. You know, still a form of the option. I gave him a first down on that, so I'll give him a gain of 10. Comes to play to the opposite side. Don't know if he went down there or not. They blew the whistle, but it didn't look like the player had touched the ground. Nathan Salmon. But he flipped number, up. Number four, a freshman with his first rush of the night. And we'll see here if that knee actually touches. It looks like he rolled on top of the two players. He doesn't look like he's down. Still coming around on his feet. Could have been live there. Salmon in motion, left side. He'll carry it and cut up field. He's got the first down and more. The freshman powering ahead to the 20. What a nice run by Nathan Salmon. Nice counter. He's got some speed, Matt. 28 yard run. Nice little burst that uh, Lehman may have needed here. Watch this again, just a nice counter in. Nathan Salmon, there you see him, number four. And just running through tacklers. If he wouldn't have got tripped up by number three, uh, Collier, he may have been gone. Football at the Graham 20 yard line. We have a penalty. Not. Okay, so they'll lift the flag. No yards for the sideline warning. Sideline warning. You get one of those before they finally give you the penalty. Although that penalty can be crippling. I would say it could be. Trying to solve what was going on on the sideline. <laughs> well, in high school football, you're only allowed down to the 25 on each side. Comes a play to the right side. What a run through. Solomon still powering ahead. Flag down on the far side. They're calling a hold against Lehman. I have never seen so many flags from line judges. I mean, the back judge didn't even throw that. That is straight out from the far side of the field away from the ball. And the Lehman sidelines not very happy about the call as you would you would understand. I'm well, saying they called it f uh, when they hit the 15 is when the flag came. So it should take it to first and 15 now. We have just had holding penalty after holding penalty in this contest between Lehman and Graham. Football now is back out at the 25. Well, normally most of those penalties are called by the back judge or by the ref and these are all coming from the side that's what just the angle isn't there for that in my opinion but unusual call Bertini in the backfield here comes Salmon around to the left side Bertini will keep it he'll go straight up the middle and he'll pick up about four plus yards Sydney's definitely found something with the running game yeah Salmon speed and boy his uh Ability to cut up field like he has is really, really a weapon. Well, I mean, all these high school teams have scouts that go out and check out the teams, but when you bring in a, you know, a wild horse like Solomon that probably hasn't had the ball that much as a running back, you don't have that good of scouting on him, and then you see how fast the kid really is. His teammates, uh, Solomon comes out as Young comes in, the big tight end. Fumble or snap Bertini will pick it up. Still going to try to throw it. Oh my. That's hard not to believe that that's not a penalty. 
That is, that's one they should call, but the flag didn't come out. And there's one on the re or on the coach. So coach for Sydney just picking up his first unsportsmanlike. So take 15 more away from Lehman. And uh, coach Roll walks down the other way on the sidelines. I find that uh, he, he's probably one of the nicest coaches that you'll just sit back and talk to, but. I think he's just a little tired of seeing the yellow come out. Well, that call, it, I, I'm sure they're saying that the ball was not catchable. So. Okay, now I am confused again. So we'll. Hmm. Contact was definitely there. But I think I'm more confused on where the ball is placed. That had to be a, a, a second sideline instead of an unsportsmanlike. In the end zone, Bertini, touchdown. Lehman, finally. Number five, Brendan O'Leary on the other end of that one. 21-yard 20, touchdown pass. So nice deep play right to the post. And we'll talk about that series in a little bit. Let's see yeah. what happens on the extra point. Let's see if we can have Potts kick this one through. Ethan Potts snap there, kick is up and penalty marker. That's gonna be offsides on the end. He jumped, so extra point will be good. Kick is good. I'm sure coach will take the, uh, the point. You don't ever take points off the board. Offside, Graham, kick is good. Nor are they saying they blew it dead. Penalty, Okay. Yeah, thank you. Point's good. Point is good. <laughs> kick is good. The kick is good with 3.03 to go here in the third quarter. I score Lehman 13, Graham 13. I'm gonna keep it right here because we're not kicking off yet. Hang on as they sort through this. I guess they are going to re-kick. So it's actually 13 to 12. Penalty occurred before the snap, apparently. Well, there must have been a whistle. So we're going to do the extra point again. Potts will get another crack at it. Snap is good. Kick is looks good from here, and it is. Thank you. 3.03 to go, Graham 13, Lehman 13, here on NK Telco Sports. We'll be back right after this. At Grand Lake Health, we offer urgent care services within Joint Township District Memorial Hospital. Upon arrival, each patient is greeted and healthcare professionals assess the level of care required. Urgent care services extend your access to quality healthcare complete for non-life-threatening problems. Our state-of-the-art facility and host of diagnostic and treatment options allow you to receive the treatment you deserve in a timely and courteous way. Green Lake Health Systems, the highest quality healthcare for you and your family. Kogi Plumbing and Heating is your Bryant Factory authorized dealer. We have brought the best of comfort, control, and plumbing services to the St. Mary's area for over 60 years. We have been Reader's Choice winners for the last four years running and excel at providing our customers with efficient and reliable heating and air conditioning as well as responsive service when a plumbing emergency arises. We insist that the products we install in our customers' homes and businesses offer the same performance and value that we expect ourselves. Call today for your next plumbing and heating or air conditioning needs. Bryant, whatever it takes. We're, we are tied at 13 here in the second half. Graham and, Graham and Lehman doing battle here at Alexander Stadium in Pickle. We're just trying to sort through all of the penalties that occurred there in the final, you know, few seconds before Lehman scored the, the touchdown on the pass from Bertini to O'Leary, which brought them within a point and then the extra point, which we had an offsides on and we had to do it over. But we were trying to go back to the uh, what we thought was a unsportsmanlike conduct on on Lehman, but obviously that penalty was never uh, must have been just a warning. So anyway, return. Graham, boy, there's a nice. That is a pop. Is that Westner? No, I believe that was number 50, uh, John Edwards. John Edwards with the hit. 
That was a nice pop. You could hear that from up here. John Edwards, take a look at that one again. That's that's a good hit for his scrapbook. That's exactly right. I mean, that's called a decleter. Coming nice across. Turn, but Kyle, you're a nice pop at the 31. Nice job of not leading with the helmet, using his body. Graham will have the football at the 32. This has been the strength for Sydney is the defensive side. They've only given up six points. Seven of the other points was given up on special teams. They've held Layman or held Graham to uh, eight of 34 or eight, eight passes for 34 yards, three for 14 in this second half. Only two first downs. There's going to be a run for a loss of one. Vance Goy, not much running room for the fullback. Looks like a, a loss on the play, so the layman defense coming up big. It's a funny thing about momentum in sport. Right now, layman has it. Let's see if that can pass on to the defense. It's been an unusual and long third quarter. Momentum shifts, very dramatic. Of course, Graham got the big lift on the opening kickoff. Graham five wide. It's a screen, but it's gonna be incomplete. That was a nice job, nice breakup. Penalty. By Drew Barhorst. I don't know. Pass from Brady King, falls incomplete, flag on the So we'll have to sort through this one. Well, it was a perfectly set up screenplay. I believe I just seen a hold on a screen. Downfield. Ineligible player okay. downfield, possibly. That'd be the most logical call. That's why I, I thought he said that it was a hold. Simply by the fact that Lehman, boy, they shot everybody in and pressured King quite a bit. Yep. Yeah. And probably going to decline player. this. Yep. Re receiver downfield, player downfield. So by the declining that, it's going to take it to third down. Smart move by Lehman. Looked like it was going to be a pretty well set up screenplay, but the Lehman defense did read it out. There is no worse sinking gut feeling when you bust through the line and you see all your buddies with you. You know that screen has already burned you. King, he rolls to his left. Pass complete to Turner. And another pop by John Edwards there. John Edwards with the tackle. I kind of like the way he tackles. What do you think? Man? He definitely, he is full steam ahead. This is nice gang tackling by Lehman. You know, Bertini there first, Bertini and then there. coming across is Edwards to take it out. And fourth and forever, and they're going for it. Minute 40 to go, and there's a penalty on the play. And Lehman gives them five of it back. But still not gonna be enough for a first down. Offside, Lehman. I could make a, well, I was going to say a fourth and one, but we haven't put the football down. Yeah. We still haven't put the football down. I, I Like I said, I have stopped guessing on what it's going to be. My, my question is on encroachment, they're calling it as soon as the player crosses the line. There's no snap, no movement. Kind of. Uh, it's well, you, and the only way you can do it is to line up offside. Fourth down and one at the 41, and they're going to, my guess is that they're going to try and draw Lehman offsides again. Down to six seconds, five, four, three. It's going to be a pooch punt. Almost blocked. Kick falls at the 35 and rolls to the 30 yard line. So Lehman will have the football at the 30-yard line. Lots of excitement for a fourth down and six <laughs> original starting play. Well, you got to give it to Graham. You know, at least they they did try to let Sydney or uh, Lehman Catholic give them the the free first down, and that's kind of what has been the spark is the penalties. The penalties have sparked most of the points in this game. 
Turnovers, two by Lehman, no points scored by Graham on either one. So five receiver set for Lehman. Bertini, he'll run with it. He's he'll got go a gang across in front. the 35. He'll go out, of, go out of bounds on the Graham sideline. Give him six on that or seven. I'm not, can't quite see it. A nice little jog up the right side. Football will be set at the 38 yard line. So that makes it second down and three. Call it a gain of seven. I mean, both teams basically run the same type of offense and they keep having that one person on an island. I'd love to see someone take an opportunity at that. This time, Salmon. They read it and they stop him. They came out and run that set. Another flag. And this looks like extracurricular. This is after the whistle. There you see the officials talking and one flag's a little worn out. <laughs> It'll go against Lehman. Maybe it has a coniferous odor. Yeah. That must be it. It must be something yeah. at this point. Yeah. The real question is, is this something sportsman like on the same player? Because if so, that'll be two and he'll be gone from the game. So take 15 yards off. It should be third and 14, but I'm sure my numbers are off. Football goes all the way back to the 24 yard line. So we'll do third and 16. Clock is counting, it goes under under a minute. Here in the third quarter of play. Bertini looks right, throws left, nice catch. Right at about the 31 yard line. So completion for six. Brendan O'Leary with the catch number five. Back throws it just short. Fourth down and seven or so. So that means Cavaliers will punt it away. I'm going to take a stab and say he's not going to improve on his average for tonight. <laughs> 73 yards was the first punt. And it was line drive and got a great roll, <laughs> but there, it was a boomer. <laughs> saying there is no one back for Graham to receive. They're finally getting back there. Nice line drive kick, fair catch made at the 34. And Gabe Kanapke leaps over Turner and the football is going to be at about the 34 yard line on the fair catch. So Graham has the football and that's going to end our third quarter of football play. Our score, Lehman 13, Graham 13. We'll return with fourth quarter action right after this. We are here. And here. And here. Minster Bank is everywhere, providing every banking service that you need to keep your financial life in order. Whether you are on the go or stopping by one of our branches, Minster Bank is here for you. We proudly support the communities where you live. Minster Bank, helping people achieve financial success. Wagner's IGA has been servicing their communities for more than 95 years, spanning three generations. Wagner's founded their business on two basic principles, excellent customer service and quality products. Visit all our locations and experience the finest selection of deli, fresh meats, and variety of beverage choices. While there, don't forget to check out our vast selection of fresh coffee beans, produce, dairy, and bakery items. Visit Wagner's today in Minster, Fort Laramie, and New Bremen, and check us out on Facebook. Graham with the football to start our final quarter of football as pass is completed and knocked out of bounds and Falcons will pick up uh, about seven yards, six, seven yards on that pass play. It takes them up over 120 yards on the game. 
Nice passing performance. Brady King, a junior quarterback, and lots of people have talked about him, and he's done a nice job here tonight, though. Rams only got 13 points on the board. Handoff, Van Soy. Short of that first down. Zach Vance Coy. Gonna make it third and two. John Edwards. John Edwards in on that stop again for Lehman. Keep hearing his name a lot. Does a fine job from that linebacker position. Football at the 43 yard line. You know, being raised in St. Mary's, I always had a coach tell me it's three or four plays that define a game. And we've had three or four that's accounted for every one of these points. It's going to be who gets the next big break. There's the first down as King maneuvers across the 45 to about the 47. You can see King on this play. He takes the snap, follows his lead blocker, picks up the first down. Both quarterbacks pretty fearless with the run, doing this run pass option. Clark is going to throw it. Howard with the catch, and he'll dive forward to the 43 yard line. Pickup of nine yards. Nice pass play out to the flat. Second down and short. Interesting play call here for Graham. Second and one. Lots of options. Sydney was just about, or Lehman was about in this part of the field when they had it at a second and one, and they ended up turning it over on down. So they went for a pass on second and one. We'll see what Graham does. Three receivers to the left side, one to the short side. And Scoy in the backfield. King chased out of the pocket, looking downfield. Pass is tipped away, and there's a penalty on the play. That's going to be an automatic first down for pass interference. It's going to be pass interference against Lehman. Nice throw for on the run and coming back the other way. Don't quite know if the player was there ahead of time or not, but we'll give it the benefit of the doubt, and that's a free 15 for Graham. So that gives them the, the first, first down and more. Should take it down to about the 28 yard line. That's a tough pass for a quarterback to throw back across his body like that. Yeah, we'd spoke, or I'd spoken on it earlier. Uh, King does a great job of getting his shoulders straight ahead to right where he's throwing the ball. Graham has the first down, football up to 28. Sixth first down for Graham in this half. That play King. was busted up, and there is away. no one there. Complete. And reaching for the flag, and they he's going to talk. This may not be over. The flag was not thrown, but there was no one in the vicinity. Can we call New York on this one? <laughs> well, I don't think he made it back to the line of scrimmage, but they're going to let it stand. Second down. Yep. Passes in, incomplete. I thought the ball came down at about the 30. So the football is second down and 10. Football to 28. Two receivers right side, two to the short side. King looks to the left side. Now he's got to roll the other way. Passes incomplete. Fox stops at 9.41 to play in this one. That makes it third down and 10. Down to 9.41. Score tied 13-13 between the Falcons and the Cavaliers. It's kind of interesting how they've kind of shifted gears here now to throw the football when King was so very, very effective running the ball. Especially in a 13-13 tie. You think you'd want to stick with what was working for you. King downfield. There's an open receiver. 
Fritz will have it and find the end zone. Riley Fritz, number four, a junior tight end, makes the catch and into the end zone. That's a receiver we haven't heard from all night. That's a nice 28-yard pass right down the middle. Good pickup, blocking down the field. Graham back on top. All important extra point coming up. Turner will try the extra point. Jaden Sells will hold it for Graham. There's the snap, kick is up, and it's good. Graham takes a seven-point lead, our score. Graham 20, Lehman 13. We'll be back right after this. Are you looking for a rewarding career? Wayne Trail, a Lincoln Electric Company, supplies top-of-the-line automation systems to manufacturers. Wayne Trail routinely develops its team through hiring and by offering advanced technical training. We understand that every employee matters and every role contributes to the success of our business and offer advancement opportunities, competitive wages, and benefit packages. Visit WayneTrail.com and get on track to a better career and a better future. At Joint Township District Memorial Hospital, your comfort and care is our number one priority. Our surgical nerve blocks are a great way to reduce pain and can be used for arm, shoulder, hip, knee, ankle, and foot surgeries. The nerve blocks decrease the stress of surgery on your body, requires less anesthesia and pain medications, and in many cases can offer relief for several days. Visit GrandLakeHealth.org for details on all of our services. Welcome back to NK Telco Sports and this production brought to you by the Grand Lake Health Systems. Lehman Cavaliers find themselves down by a, a touchdown. And the kickoff, Brian Turner will kick it off after the touchdown pass from King to Fritz with the Falcons in the lead at 20 to 13. 82 yards passing by Graham. And that was the bread and butter of that drive. We missed a penalty, Matt. They're going to kick it from the 45. No, we Lane. have totally missed a penalty. That's hard to believe. And that's a 15-yard variety penalty. So, Turner kicking it from the Lehman 45, puts it in the end zone. So that means the Cavaliers will come out to their 20 yard line. There has been more laundry on this field than there has been in my laundry basket in months. <laughs> That's been a plethora of penalties. That, that, that is one way to say it. <laughs> I mean, I can't, I can't remember in any recent times I've seen one called this strict, but if they're there, they're there. That just means the teams have a lot of work to do leading into week four. Well, let's see what Lehman does. We got nine and 9.33 to go on that first National Bank Think First scoreboard. It's been an interesting football game back and forth. Barhorst, he'll get it up across the 25, pick up about five yards. Call it second down and five. Lehman was 73 yards rushing in the second half. Just over 140 for the game. Bertini in the shotgun. Barhorst in the backfield. Bertini up the middle. Not much running room there. Perhaps a one yard pickup. Brings to a long third and four. Tyler Long Hill. third down and four. Only four first downs for Lehman in the second half. Looking for that fifth one here. Time is starting to run out. Two receivers to the right side. Barhorst in the 
backfield with Bertini. Bertini's pass to O'Leary incomplete. In on the Hillman. Hillman in on the play for Graham. Layman out to punt. This would be a good time to draw them off. You know, we were within four yards. Definitely would give a loud cadence here. Bar horse will stand at his 10 yard line to punt it away. Good snap. Good kick. And nobody really back deep for Graham. It's going to roll to inside the 30 yard line and another excellent punt by Drew Barhorst. Kick by Drew Barhorst. Takes over. First and 10. Down to 19 left in the fourth. Nice. Getting to the point with if, if you're lame and the clock is not your friend at this point. So you, they're very balanced on their offense of side with rushing and passing, but they're going to become one dimensional just due to the time clock. So a quick three and out is really what they need here. And with King at quarterback, it'll be interesting to what the last series they went to the air and moved it down the field. Let's see what they do here. I think they'd want to run it and King is the only back in the uh, in the backfield. He'll take the snap out of the shotgun and the Graham player on the right side moved. So that's a five yard penalty against Ethan Grove. Ethan Grove with the jump. So now that kind of puts you in a passing down. We have seen them rush right up the middle though on this five man set. First and 15, 819 to go on the first National Bank Think First scoreboard. Graham in a more conventional set. Yep. Running back in the backfield, it'll go to Van Soy, and he'll go up the middle, but Edwards will meet him there. And the one plus you can take away from Lame, and they have gang tackled all night long. Where there is one jersey, there's three or four jumping on. It's going to be a loss of three yards. So that makes it second down and, and 13. Graham with only 17 yards rushing in the second half. Bread and butter's been off the 82 yards in the air and the 81 yards on the return. Yeah, credit to. Uh, Layman's defense for digging in. Two backs in the backfield. That's very unusual. Timeout, Graham. Timeout, Graham. We'll take a break. 7.29 to go in this one. Graham 20, Layman 13. We'll be back right after this. American Trim's story started in 1951, and our long family legacy continues today. We are a third-generation family-owned business with locations in Sydney and Walpaw, and we're hiring for manufacturing positions on first, second, and third shifts. Part-time and full-time positions are available for entry-level and skilled individuals. Please apply at www.amtrim.com or in person. American Trim is a proud sponsor of high school sports and our communities. Come be part of our story. Hey Botkins, I'm Brett Gerstner with NK Telco, and we are here for you and to help you operate your business network. Hey Anna, I'm John Boyd with NK Telco. We are here for you to expand our fiber network, which means faster internet speeds for you. Hey Sydney, I'm Pat Thomas with NK Telco, and we are here for you for all your customer service needs. Hey Fort Army, I'm Nick Garrett with NK Telco, and we are here for you with Hometown Pride. Hi Arishi, I'm Tim Metzger, and we are here for you for your installation of your telephone, cable TV, and internet. King with the football, he's taken off running after the timeout, and that's the safest play that they've got, just a broken play. And that's the biggest run they've had the whole second half. A total of 15 yards on that scramble. Uh, it's kind of tough, you know, you, you contain, you, you have your receivers covered, 
the line does a great job and he just on a freelance play takes off running and he gets the first down. You know, the two plays Layman's given up in the second half have both been on busted plays. I mean, I consider that a busted play. They was hoping to pass and he just ran with it. He's running with this one. King straight up the middle. There's the whistle. He'll stop. Play a gain of maybe three, four yards there. And David, you'd spoke on it during the break there, you know, with 40 second clocks. That's a long time to take off a clock if you just run the ball, but it seems like Graham wants to still get some passes out there. Yeah, it, it, there's 22 seconds on the clock right now. And you know, if they can, they need to use the clock here to their advantage with a seven point lead. And uh, I think it's gonna come down to really just how much how much King can run with the football because the Cavaliers, anything that uh, is in the backfield is pretty much covered up. The ball there was snapped at, at zero, so the perfect time you want to snap it. The football Two -yard goes run. to about the 46. And with, you know, with that 40 second clock, you can really take some time. There's 6-11 to play right now in the first National Bank Think First scoreboard, but a little bit of control in the football here. And, and at the worst case scenario, you're gonna leave the Cavaliers in, in poor field position. Well, I'm sure the placements of the clocks here, especially in this stadium, is a huge advantage to when Piqua plays here. I mean, uh, this is one of the few places where you'll see that clock's dead centered, where everybody can see it on the field. So if Graham just pays attention to that and snaps then on the silent count. King, he's going to throw it over the middle. Incomplete. Pass Footsteps. The clock. Falls incomplete. That'll make it fourth down and three. Clock stops at 5.35. And uh, there looks like they're gonna punt it away. The main thing is Lehman just needs discipline here. Not to go for it and just stay on your side. They're within four yards, one off sides will give them the first down. R.J. Bertini back deep for the Cavaliers. Turner's kick, a low line drive. Bertini will fair catch it at the 25. RJ so Lehman's going to do business at their own 25, starting with 529 to play in this one. But, you know, you look at Graham there in those last two plays. With a clock like it is, you could have eaten a, a lot more time off, off the clock if they just worked it just a little bit more. A pass like that stops it, then you force to punt it. Then. That's a minute and a half. I mean, the difference in a minute and a half right now in this game is half the playbook. Laming can still run as long as they hurry up and get to the line, where without that time, it would be strictly passing. And here they are running, and that's been their strength. And that's Barhorst, and then pushes him way up to about the 33. Drew Barhorst on the carry. Tackle by. That'll make it second down and we'll call it seven. Barhorst in the backfield. Bertini takes a snap, looks downfield. He's gonna throw it over the middle, completed. It's gonna be right at the first down marker. O'Leary with the catch for Lehman. It's a nice pass for eight yards. Takes him up to 37 on the second and half. Looks like a first down, and it is. Clock still rolling, 4.48 to go. Lehman waiting on the play. They're too using a lot of clock here, down to 15 seconds on the play clock. Bertini, he'll take the football, he'll drop straight back. Passes incomplete and tended there for Gabe Kanapke. Clock will stop at 423. Make it second down and 10 for Lehman. 
Lehman just needs to get half of it. I'd go back to the run. Barhorst in the backfield. He's been the one that's been very effective for the Cavaliers. Bertini straight back over the middle, going long. Caught. Nice catch. O'Leary, one-handed catch for the end zone. Brendan O'Leary. 65 yards. 65 yards and a Cavaliers strike just like that. What a catch, Matt. That was probably the nicest catch I've seen in high school football in a few years. He caught that with a hand extended. Bertini put it right there. That was the one-handed Beckham right there. Hand just goes up and brings it right in. Nice job getting behind the defense and gone. What a play. Looks like Lehman's going to go for the tie here. Got 414 to go in this one. Potts is on to try that extra point. Good snap, kick up, looks good. It is. And here at Alexander Stadium, we are tied. Lehman 20, Graham 20. We'll be back right after this. At First National Bank, we are working hard to make your life a little easier. With products like Card Valet, an app allowing you to control your cards with real-time notifications, transaction restrictions, and spending limits. The ability to access your money through 55,000 all-point ATMs across the country, surcharge free. Live customer support when you need it. And online and mobile banking, allowing you to gain access to your financial information wherever and whenever you like. First National Bank, making your life a little easier. we use hometown opportunity to make sure that when we have a position open within the facility it gets put on the website we've really been excited to see how that has grown so much over the last several years if anyone is looking for a job it's the it's the best place to go we really want to do whatever we can to get folks that are from this community back to this area i would recommend any manufacturing company that they take a look at it it's a very good benefit for companies at no cost Bar horse will kick it away. Football at the 40. 414 left in this one. Bar horse will kick it to about the 13 yard line. Here comes the return on Turner, and he's got running room. Bar horse chases him down. That is a big return. Make that number 17. I'm sorry, the kickoff was by Potts and he was the safety. And Ethan Potts' is first, well, I don't know if it's his first career tackle, but he saved it. Yeah, Ryan Turner got that all the way back to the 38, but he looks like he's injured now. He came down pretty hard. Ethan Potts and then Noah Young on the tackle. But so Potts had the kick. He kicked off and was safe playing free safety back there, and he makes a makes a big play for the moment. But the football's at the Layman 38, so Graham set up great business. This is where you want to be with 404 left. But Sydney Layman's defense has been the strength tonight. It's time to definitely get in the trenches. And as slow as Graham plays, as far as their plays go. I don't know if 404 is enough to get it to the end zone. Well, we're going to find out. Here's King and Salmon is on him. Big defensive play. So a loss of four is definitely going to put them one dimensional here. They need to pass. Call it second down and 12. Spot, they spotted it at the 40 yard line. Graham. Team looks to the sidelines, play comes in. Clock moving along, as you can see on that first National Bank Think First scoreboard. King going down the middle, pass incomplete. Threw it behind him. Now you're at the point now where 
with it being third and 13, you have to get at least seven yards here. And if you throw it incomplete, you're going to give it back to Lehman with decent time on the board. And could be in good field position. Yeah, this is not a fourth down you want to try at the 40. No, it's not. That is correct. Football at the 40, third down play. Let's say if they plan on going for it on fourth, they'll run it. He's in trouble. Here comes the pressure. There's a penalty marker. He gets out of it. King looks downfield, going for the end zone, wide open. That's going to be a it's coming touchdown. back. That is definitely coming back. But there's a penalty marker down on the layman 45, or make it the holding the 47, holding at the 47. Tell you, King threw a strike there to get the touchdown, and it's all going to be for naught. It's going to come back with 3.09 to go in this one. And that can be devastating. Layman should have, I believe they have all three timeouts left. They do. So at this point in time, it's going to be third down and about 23. Let's take a look at that one one more time. Here he comes out. Just about have him. And right there's the hold. Well, I don't quite see the hold, but they're calling the hold there. So we got a third and. They're down in 12 football. Well, it's more than 12. I think it's about 27, 29, 29 third and 29. Exact. King, pass incomplete. Clock will stop at 304. And the fourth and 29. Football's all the way back into Graham territory, so. This is where if I was Sidney Lehman, I would, it's time to go block a punt. Well, we're gonna find out, aren't we? This is they've been in there all night. 29. They've been close all night. Bertini is back at the 20. The only problem trying to do that, Matt, is that as many penalties as there's been in, something might go wrong with that. I totally agree. Let's see what happens. High snap, minimal rush, kick is away. Bertini's trying to track it down. Uh, you better pick it up. Well, he'll have to down it at about the three or four yard line. So a great punt. Nice job by Graham, pending them back. 43-7, nice yeah. punt of uh, well, almost 50 yards. Well, when you're inside your four yard line, now you got to worry about a safety. So at this point, I believe Sydney will play for overtime and just rush it. Well, you got 253. You got lots of, you have lots of time, but not a lot of maneuverability. Graham's only got one time out to stop the clock. Possibility of having to punt from your own end zone. Let's see what happens. Bertini under pressure, pass is going to be incomplete. This is playing in Graham's favor here. Clock stops at 249. If you fail to get a first down, you're going to be giving it back to them, probably in your field position or on your side. Not quite sure what Layman's thinking here. Cavaliers need just a little bit of breathing room. Horst in the backfield with Bertini. Low snap, and it's on and the there's ground. there's the We've safety. Double. That's going to be a touchdown. touchdown, Graham. Touchdown, Graham on the low snap with 2.45 to go. Let's take a look at this one again. Play of the night. Low snap. There's the ball, and number 17. 17. <laughs> number 17 is with the recovery. Spriggs, he was the one that was injured earlier in the game. Garrett Spriggs, offensive lineman's dream come true. He's an offensive lineman and linebacker and he falls on it. 
So now all the pressure on Lehman. 26 20 extra point coming up. Kick is blocked and it partially no good. It's no good. So Lehman's going to get the ball back. We've got lots of excitement here as Graham 26, Lehman 20 will be back right after this. Flygem Residential Solutions is part of Cornerstone Building Brands, North America's largest manufacturer of exterior building products. And the success of our company is directly related to the contributions of our employees. We are currently looking for machine operators, maintenance technicians, forklift operators, and more to join our growing team at our facility in Sydney, Ohio. Flygem offers competitive pay, a full benefits package, as well as opportunities for bonus pay and long-term advancement. Become a part of our strong foundation. Hi, I'm Mallory. My grandpa's been making the world's worst pizza for 30 years. That doesn't look like the world's worst pizza. Grandpa, I know why they call you Chunky Bob. It's because you use chunky ingredients on your pizza. Of course, it's not because I'm fat. Grandpa, this is the world's best pizza. Keyhole Pizza, come check Grandpa out. Dine in or carry out. Two minutes and 45 seconds remain in regulation. Our score, Graham 26 and Lehman 20. Boy, what a mistake. The Cavaliers uh, fumble in the end zone. The worst possible scenario for the Cavaliers. And Graham falls on it. It's a six point difference. Short kick. That's a third turnover by Lehman. And here could be number four. Barhorse will scoop Block it up in at the, the back. 15. Trying to get some yardage back, and he gets up to about the 21 yard line. So Drew Barhorst picks it up and returns it to the 21. Now the Cavaliers actually with better field position than what they had before, but boy, they're doing it the hard way. The best news about everything that happened down there, though, they missed the extra point, so a touchdown can still win it for you. And if you look at all the penalties and all the turnovers, to be able to still escape, that's that, that that's kind of miraculous. Sit back and enjoy this game sponsored by Grand Lake Health Systems here on NK Telco. Bertini straight back. He fires it upfield. Pass is caught. O'Leary with the catch. Quick 13 yards. The ball up to 39. O'Leary, definitely a favorite target of Bertini. Right there it is. It's 265 passing yards quickly here for Bertini. I'll tell you, if they get it to get it to O'Leary out in the open, he's a hard man to stop. Bertini looking downfield. He'll roll right. He'll throw it on the roll. On the on the run, pass is going to be incomplete. Flag down, interference. Saying he got there a little early. It's right on the middle of the O of the 50. There's going to be another 12 yards and another first down for Sydney. So big play. So Lehman driving. Cavaliers get the break that time on the interference. Most importantly, that penalty stops the clock. And there's 2-12 remaining. We can watch that one again. Bertini in the pocket, kind of rolls out under pressure. Called right there, hand on the middle of his back. O'Leary's pretty sure handed too. 15 yarder takes it down to the 46. We're in Graham territory, just like that, Matt. Cavaliers are on the move. O'Leary's over here to the left side. He's two receivers to the short side. Barhorst in the backfield. Bertini going down the middle. Young passes intercepted by Graham. That's a fourth turnover by Lehman, and that might be the last. They still have three timeouts. Pass was going to, I believe, Noah Young. His tongue a little too high in the air. Nice pickup block here. Thrown down just a little high. And number six. Ryan Turner with a big defensive play and with 2.06 to go. 
no victory formation yet. They still have three timeouts, so Lehman is still very much in this. Just cannot allow a positive play here on the first down. 2.06 remain. Brady King, he's led the Falcons all night. He'll take the snap, fakes it to Van Scoy, and he'll go up straight ahead for a yard or two. And Lehman will take the timeout and stop the clock. This is where stripping the ball is important. We'll keep it right here and remind you that tonight's game brought to you on NK Telco Sports is brought to you by Grand Lake Health System, American Trim, First National Bank, Winners Meets, NK Telco, Frost Roofing, Hometown Opportunity, Minster Bank, Ply Gem, Precision Strip, Schwederman Pharmacy, Wilson Health, Cy Schwederman, Carriage Works, Kogi Plumbing, Fowler's TV, Wayne Trail, Cargill, Wagner's IGA, Securecom, St. Henry Bank, The Spot Restaurant, and St. Mary's Foundry all bringing you tonight's game between Lehman and Graham. It's been an interesting battle. Lots of penalties, but lots of big plays as well, Matt. Yeah, and the biggest play just came with that turnover, the fourth turnover by Lehman. You just can't give the ball up four times in a game and not get any back and expect to to win. Turnovers, turnover ratio. Mm. King with it. He'll pitch it. Oh, fumble. Ball's loose. loose. Football. We'll see who gets it. They'll have to dig this one out. Layman ball. One minute, 52 seconds. Layman's going to get a chance. Let's look at that one again. The fake and then the little pass. Didn't quite get the pitch. Nope. Young was in on the hit. And they're saying it's going to be an incomplete pass. I think that's what they just said was incomplete pass ball given back to Graham. And if that's the case, how much time do you put back on the clock? Minute 52. Oh, they just signaled Sydney ball. Well, the pass was completed if that was a pass because it got hit <laughs> and it popped out. <laughs> you want to show that one? I think we could show that replay again. Be interesting just to look at it as we take a 152. We've got a timeout. We've got some time. Let's take a look at this one one more time. There you see the fake. There's the scoop pass. Yeah. Now, I don't know if he ever had the ball. It's interesting. And that. The forward, that, that's considered a pass. It's not considered a handoff. Yeah, he never had the ball. Edwards with the, Edwards with the hit. That's one reason why he never had, had the ball. Edwards put a good lick on him. See it? Oh, that's a, oh, that is underhand. It is not overhand. So that should be lame and ball. So, and it looks like the Lehman offense. No, that is very much the Lehman defense out there. So it's not Lehman ball. So with 152 to go, third down and 10, but Cavaliers, even if they don't get the ball here, they're going to have a good, they're going to have some time left on this clock if they can hold them. So that was basically ruled an incomplete pass. Correct. King in the backfield calling the signals. Trying to work his way around the end. He's going nowhere. King on the carry. 147 to go. Layman with their third timeout. Considering so, they got the ball at 255. So that, one. 47, how much time can go off the clock here? Really only six seconds maybe at best on the punt. Six to eight, it's so, fourth down. So it's fourth down, it's long. Now when you talk about rushing the kick kicker or the punter, might be the opportune time to do it. Well, they've had players close and they haven't rushed at all, so 
might be the time to catch Graham off. Football resting at the 19. I mean, we don't try to sound biased or anything in these games, but Sydney is one of the teams that we do cover. So you hope to see them do well. But this could be the opportunity. The biggest thing is, is number three cannot let it get past him. And now they're sending a second person back to assist in that. They have That's got to get this ball fielded. Barhorst and Bertini back deep. The rush is on, but they get it away. And it's uh, going to be returned by Barhorst at the 40. Upfield, he'll get across into Graham territory to about the 42 with a minute 35 to go. So here we go, Matt. Lehman's got some, uh, got a chance, one more chance at this one. Ooh, time for the two minute offense. And pass is about all you have left in the book. Out of timeouts, had to use those up to stop the clock on Graham's last offensive series. Now it comes down to what happens and transpires over the next 135. Martini over 265 yards on the game. So he's had a great game. Just two interceptions to go along with that and one fumble. So protect the ball, get it downfield. Football at the 43. Three receivers to the left side. Here comes the blitz. Bertini, there's a penalty. Bertini is going to have to run with it. He'll get out of bounds. He gets the first down. They Flag thread, so he had a run. Flag thrown where holding's at. So Sydney making it a little bit more difficult for him. So Lehman back it up 10 more. So we'll be back in their own territory. 13 seconds off the clock from the last play. And we're getting down to the point where you're, and we've seen them set it up to where the, you're on the island over here and just do something, do a post play. And it is, a, it's been open all night, but nobody's went for it. Football goes to the layman 47. First down and then looks like 20, should be 20. Snap, Bertini over the middle, it's caught. O'Leary makes the catch, but the clock will run. They'll get 10 back. They gotta hurry up and set up, line up. Clock is at 114. Bertini straight back over the middle again. In and out of O'Leary's arms. Almost lucky that he didn't catch it. He's running before he had it. 103 to go. 63 ticks of the clock. This is where you call two plays. One for if you get it, and if you don't, you already have the second one called. Third down and 10, but basically two plays. Bertini, they're gonna go with a short pass to McIver. He did not get out of bounds. Clock still counting. Now it's fourth down and 10. They got 10 back, clock is at 45. Now they've got to get a first down, fourth and 10. Here we go, Bertini in trouble. He's gonna run for it. Didn't get it. Out of bounds and he did not make the first down. Gonna be short by two. And no flags on the play. So Graham Ball at the 35. Graham will take over at about the 35, and the Falcons are going to go to two and one on the season, barring something very, very unusual in the final 33 seconds or on what should be the next play. Absolutely. Graham will take a timeout, and we'll take a break as well. Our score, Graham 26, Lehman 20. We'll be back right after this.
Together, we are family, working safely for our loved ones. We are problem solvers who challenge the status quo and drive improvement. We care about our customer relationships. We stay true to our values, caring and respecting one another. We embrace change as we journey through our career. We are Precision Strip, the world's leading processor of rolled steel and aluminum. Precision Strip, doing the exceptional. 33 seconds remain. Graham with a 26-20 lead as they recovered a fumble in the layman end zone. That's the difference in this one. King will take the snap and put the knee down at the 30-yard line, and the Falcons are going to end a losing streak against the Cavaliers as the clock counts down and the two teams are lining up to congratulate each other. Graham goes to two and one. The Cavaliers fall to 0 and three. Our final 26-20. Graham, the winner, will be back with our recap right after this. Schwiedemann Pharmacies began serving the people of Auglaise County in 1916 when Urban Schwiedemann purchased the building and business from J.H. Hoffman. The New Bremen location is one of the longest running pharmacies in the country, with over 110 years of serving its patrons. Since then, four more stores have been added, Coldwater, St. Mary's, Minster, and Wapakoneta to round out the group. Our services include prescription refills, home medical equipment, nursing home services, customized compounded medication, vaccinations, and so much more. New Knoxville Supply Company, the supply source for residential, commercial, and industrial jobs. We specialize in plumbing products from many name brands, electrical products from replacing a light switch to rewiring an entire house, heating, air conditioning, and geothermal products, sheet metal ductwork, installations, and service. We are now housing more inventory, so all the hardware items you need to complete the job are available right away. New Knoxville Supply. Stop in, call, or check us out online at newknoxvillesupply.com. For over 150 years, Cargill has been helping people be successful worldwide. Cargill has always done business responsibly and in a way that makes us proud. Whether it is educating farmers in India or providing bikes to students with perfect attendance right here at home, Cargill is helping people thrive. The Sydney plant is just one piece of a global company that provides employment for hundreds of thousands, food for the world, and support for thousands of businesses. Be a part of something great at Cargill.com. Take your game day party to the next level with a new TV and Sono sound system from Fowler's TV in St. Mary's. A Sono sound system takes all the action into every room of your home and outdoors. Break your home into zones and control the content and level right from your phone or tablet, enabling you to enjoy the game or not with the touch of a finger. Add a security camera system connected to your TV from Fowler's and never leave another friend stuck outside in the cold. Fowler's TV, taking game day to the next level. Wagner's IGA has been servicing their communities for more than 95 years, spanning three generations. Wagner's founded their business on two basic principles, excellent customer service and quality products. Visit all our locations and experience the finest selection of deli, fresh meats, and variety of beverage choices. While there, don't forget to check out our vast selection of fresh coffee beans, produce, dairy, and bakery items. Visit Wagner's today in Minster, Fort Laramie, and New Bremen, and check us out on Facebook. Back here at Alexander Stadium in Piqua, the Lehman Cavaliers lose a tough one to the Graham Falcons. Uh, stops a, a winning streak that they've had against the Falcons for the last five years as uh, Graham goes up 26 to 20. Let's take a look at uh, the final numbers and they'll be quite revealing in this one because Cavaliers had pretty good offensive night. Yeah, the final score 26-20, Graham winning. Uh, total yards 303 for Graham, 412 for the Cavaliers, 133 on rushing for Graham, 134 for the Cavaliers. Uh, on passing yards, 170 to 278. 15 first downs even, but the big number on here that's screaming at us is the turnovers. Four for Sidney Lehman, and that's just too many to come over to come through with. Yeah, especially the the last one. That was the big one. That was the fumble in the end zone and. Uh, well, that's the difference in this contest. 26-20 uh, when uh, the ball was fumbled in the end zone. 
late in the fourth quarter, and that's the difference. Also, our player of the game tonight had a fantastic outing for the Lehman Cavaliers. Our player of the game brought to you by NK Telco, R.J. Bertini, uh, number three quarterback for the Cavaliers had uh, really a very solid game for the Cavs. Yeah, he was 12 of 30, or I'm sorry, 20 of 32 for 278 yards passing. Also had over 50 yards on the ground. Um, just all around good player. Couple few mental mistakes, but that's gonna come when you're first learning the position. And he did it, did a nice job. And he's our player of the game for, for Lehman. They look to lead league play against Riverside next week and hope to get back into the winning ways. They've had good success in Northwest Central Conference play and hopefully their, their, uh, their turnaround will begin next week against Riverside. We'd like to thank uh, all of our sponsors for tonight's game, especially Grand Lake Health Systems, uh, American Trim, First National Bank, Winners Meats, NK Telco, Frost Roofing, Hometown Opportunity, Minster Bank, Ply Gem, Precision Strip, Schwederman Pharmacy, Wilson Health, Cy Schwederman, Carriage Works, Kogi Plumbing, Fowler's TV, Wayne Trail, Cargill, Wagner's IGA, Securecom, St. Henry Bank, The Spot Restaurant, and St. Mary's Foundry all bring you tonight's game here on NK Telco Sports between Graham and Lehman. Our crew tonight, our director Scott Robinson is assistant Taylor Wisman. On the cameras today, uh, Jim Miller and Xavier Gross. I'm Dave Helmston and alongside me tonight, Matt Everich and our final score from Alexander Stadium in Piqua. Graham 26, Lehman 20.